Hello everyone and welcome back. Today was just a edit video day. Melissa and I did go out and hung out in the fish house for a couple of hours and the only thing we figured out is that we wanted to get new bedding for up at the tent so <laughs> she's in there picking something out for that right now for that bed and uh, she made really nice um, ham ham, egg, and cheese, whatever that was, on toast. It was really good lunch. And now I just ran out because I'm still working on that video. The video's done, but I'm watching it, and then I got another video to edit after that. But, uh, so Svengoolie's on right now, but I did just go out because in the last video I had tapped the birch trees. And I just went out there and I collected 20 gallons. I didn't get to empty the bags. I just got enough so they could keep going because a lot of those are really flowing. And this is all the buckets I have. I think tomorrow is going to be rainy and crappy out. Today was windy, chilly, like 42 or something. But I wanted to get this because otherwise it's just going to run out the bags and it's, you know, it's worthless. Getting down to 34 tonight so this stuff will stay good. And then within the next couple of days here, I'll start boiling this stuff down. And like I said in the last video, I haven't done birch syrup for many years. So I'm kind of excited to to make some, but the the return on that is about 100 to 110 gallons to one gallon. So you need a lot of it to be able to make any amount of syrup. I'm gonna go back in now, work on that video, watch some more Svengooli, and we'll see what it's like tomorrow. Good morning everybody. I did not film anything yesterday. It was just a real crappy and really windy day. Uh, today is still real windy but finally the sun came out. And right now, believe it or not, I'm going up to get my hair cut. <laughs> I've had enough. I did get my hair cut and I'm trying to boil sap here but it is so windy today. It's almost impossible to film. I'm trying to talk when the wind finally <laughs> dies down. One more day of this wind. Tomorrow's supposed to be high winds and by tomorrow afternoon it's gonna die down. trying to hide behind the garage here so you can hear me with the wind. It's been way too windy today to run the evaporator. It's supposed to die, start dying down in a couple hours. Tomorrow's supposed to be real nice. So I'm hoping to be able to boil later on, uh, yet today. So I just uh, ran the tiller where the potatoes are gonna go and in the garden where we plant stuff in there. Brought the table out. Yeah, if I... Uh, Summer doesn't want to get here, maybe by doing all this stuff, it'll make it come here. I've got to get the potatoes in the ground within the next week or so. And I saw them for sale, the seed potatoes, up at the store. So now that the snow is out of that field, I thought I'd get it tilled up. Well, after I got the garden stuff tilled the first time, come in here and did some more taping. That wind was supposed to start dying down about 3 o'clock. It's pushing 4 o'clock now. Still blowing pretty hard. I'm still hoping to get the 
sap evaporator going yet tonight and get, you know, four or five hours out of it. Just a few more pieces left to cut, otherwise almost the whole pile is gone. Well, Melissa and I just got on the four-wheeler and went and got the sap tonight. Took the dogs out for their first run in the woods this year. I was going to bring the camera with, and then I asked her if she wanted to go with, so I left the camera here. Sometimes you just need some Joe and Melissa time. I did get about 18 or 19 gallons of sap tonight. Stand here where the wind is blocked. So that puts us at about 58 or 59 gallons. Uh, so far, which is right about because birch is like a hundred to a hundred and ten to one ratio, that puts us at I don't know half a gallon of syrup. So we'll see how long they run here. Uh, tomorrow the wind is dying down now, which is nice. Tomorrow it's supposed to be real nice, not much wind, and I can really boil hard. I don't think I have any. So far I don't have anywhere to go tomorrow, so I'll get going early on this. I'll go tonight until about ten o'clock. I'll run the fire till about 9 and then just make sure everything's filled up and let it run and we should be able to burn through quite a bit of this tomorrow. And right now it's seven, about 7 o'clock and they said that as it gets closer to dark the wind will really really drop.
Good morning everybody. It started out at 27 degrees this morning and it's supposed to get up to 65. The wind has died down. Just a beautiful morning. I want to get that evaporator started right away and try to get through that birch sap. starting to get that syrupy smell to it. Won't be long now in my ratted out jacket, which should have been thrown away a long time ago, but I wear this one when I do the boiler or when I'm doing this because it smells like wood smoke. It won't be long now, it'll be time to retire it for the season. I got that sap boiling really good now. I'm going to run into L&M because they had seed potatoes for sale and I want to get them even though I'm probably, I'm not planting them today, but I want to get them before they're sold out. There you guys go, get you some bugs. First time in seven months. I had to go back up to L&M and uh, get oil. I thought I had a whole gallon of oil in there, but it was almost empty. So then when I did that, I went ahead and got a oil filter and a new fuel filter. So this one should be ready to go. I can't remember if there was something wrong with the deck on this one or what. For some reason, I was using the other lawnmower at the end of the season, and that one needs a new solenoid. A starting solenoid so I tried to take a picture of it and then I went up to L&M and everybody was looking all over the place but I need to find out if it's a one or a two terminal so I'm gonna have to reach in there and I'll have to go back up eventually and pick one of those up I don't want to go through this year starting out with a screwdriver like I did last year
I'm going to run in and find some lunch. Well, I put the new oil filter on, put the new solenoid in, and it still doesn't start. And it can't be the starter because if I jump even this solenoid with the screwdriver, it turns right over. I replaced the fuse. Remember that one out in the other Husqvarna I had I have last year? That didn't do anything. So I, <laughs> I have no clue. I mean, there's not much to these things. You think you'd be able to just hotwire it with a, like have a toggle switch or something to start it and then, yeah, I don't know, I'll have to play with it more, but I'm going to change out the oil here and get this part done anyway. I bought a new fuel filter for it, so I'll switch that out. I don't think that's ever been changed. One more bucket left, and that's 58 gallons or whatever we figured last night. Haven't checked them today, but uh, we burned off a lot of water.
tonight we just got we got a full 10 gallons but that's it the smaller trees are definitely really winding down even the bigger ones didn't fill the whole entire bag up two of them were close I think the birch season is just about done. Oh, it's 8.30 at night right now. This is what I'm gonna boil. I have one more five gallon pail, but to get that finished, I would have to carry this into tomorrow, and I don't wanna do that. I don't think those trees are gonna be producing enough anymore. So I'll boil this down. I might have to add some into this, you know, so that it doesn't burn the pan. And then 9.30, quarter to 10 or whatever, I'll let that boil down and then I'll get it strained and put into a stainless steel pot and then tomorrow morning just like when I did the uh, maple I'll finish this off inside Almost done with the boiler for this year, but or for this season. But you know, I got to 27 degrees last night, so still need heat in the house. Workshop's nice and warm. Guest house is nice and warm. All the hot water is heated. Well, it's just about 10 o'clock right now. I'll bring this inside and we'll finish it up in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I got up a couple hours ago and started the birch sap boiling down farther to make it into syrup. And then I just remembered that when I was doing the maple syrup, I broke my uh, thermometer, so I have to go up and buy a new one. I got what I needed. Well, I ended up with eight half pints and then an almost nine. That one there, I just left to try it. It has a, I, I, it's been so long since I had birch, birch syrup. And it has, I mean, it's sweet, but
but it's almost a citrus sweet taste. So, and you know, this stuff is quite dark because of the way we boiled it, with it being able to scorch against the side on that top part. So I'm going to take the last five gallons and I'm going to boil it in here where there's no fire on the side, just heat on the bottom. I've got part of it in there, I've got some in there, and then there's more out there in the bucket. And I want to boil this down. I can't do this, this much five gallons of liquid in the house with Melissa's here, she'll complain. So once she went to work and I got the other stuff done, I put it on here. The best way to do birch, they said, is if you could boil it at 200 degrees, which, you know, can't do. If you could just let it evaporate like this, which would take forever. They said the perfect scenario is if you're doing it up at higher elevations, the your liquid will boil at 200. Because when it gets too, I don't know, something like the type of sugar that's in there can actually burn a little bit within the liquid itself. I don't know, I just want to do it this way and see if we end up with a lighter colored syrup. Well I've had that sap on the stove now for seven hours. It's finally getting down there. A couple more hours I think that'll be done. Well I've reduced it down to the final pot here now. We don't want to let it get less than an inch thick in the pan. And what we should end up with after five gallons of boiling, somewhere between, like right around three quarters of a half pint jar. And right now it's boiling at 213. What do you think, Smudgy? Which one's the best? Smudgy was Mark's very favorite cat. He would send treats here just for Smudgy. And then when Mark got here, if you guys didn't watch the last video, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, when, uh, when Mark got here, Smudgy was too afraid. He <laughs> kept hidden. <laughs> anyway, we got the birch syrup is done. This is the batch I did on the fr outside with the fire. This is the one I did on the stove. There's a little bit difference in color, but not so much in clarity that I can see. I brought it out here to see if we could see through it. Uh, I tasted them, you know, it's sweet but bitter. And I thought there'd be a, maybe a big difference because this one may be from scorching off the side, but that's not the case. It, uh, they taste almost identical. And Melissa tried it and she said, that's just nasty. <laughs> And I told her, you know what, if you're up somewhere where they only have birch trees and you never get anything sweet, tapping a, um, you know, if you don't have any maples or anything, tapping a birch tree would be pretty good. I didn't mind it. There's a bitterness to it, but I didn't mind that. But, um, yeah, she didn't care for it. My dad did ask uh, if I could bring some of this up for him to try, so I'm going to give him a jar of the birch and a jar of the maple. And he said he'll make pancakes up there and opening fishing at the cabin and use some of this syrup. And so in a future video I'll tell you what my dad thinks about birch syrup. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. I'm glad the birch sap is done. Got to get things cleaned up around here and then I'm going to have to switch gears and get stuff ready for opening up the tent. Probably have one more video in between here and when we're going up there. The next five to seven days look like it's going to be like today. It only got to maybe 50 degrees. Uh, the wind is coming off of Lake Superior, so it's cold. And is it tomorrow or the following day? It starts raining and it's going to be kind of off and on rain showers for four days. I will see you guys on the next video.